by NITA uh, through recognition of prior learning. Karibu Jafet, share your story with us. I'm, I'm Meshak. Sorry, Meshak, sorry. Yes, I'm Meshak. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, I'm a plapa from Kibera at working for Allied Plumbers Company. Before, I served as a member of our national youth service from 2018, a graduate 2023, March. From there, a lot of challenges searching for jobs. But when affordable housing came, I had a chance to secure a job with it. Giving example, giving out this example of mine, there are a lot of youths who are not able to get a job. Now, wakati hii affordable housing in Kuja, in this idea, bad yet. Wazi pata kijana ametoka mta ameenda kukaa hivyo bure lakini sasa ile wakati pale site akona chazi ya, kutaf, ya kufanya job for me i can say that it's a chance that made me to be who i am i'm a recognized plumber when nita came in i did they did the assessment and i was assessed they have called us recently to tell us that there will be graduation this coming Friday, whereby we are supposed to go and get our certificates. Before, I went to Edoret National Polytechnic, where I did craft certificates in plumbing. So when Nita came in, they did an advantage to me. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Meshak. So, unafanya kazi pale Kibra? Yes, I'm at Kibra. Nilikuwa pale juzi? Yes. Na naona mumesukuma kufukuma? Kabisa. Yeah? Yeah. Iyo site yenu uh, muko plumbers wengi, kuna carpenters, Ndiyo. kuna electricians, yes. kuna masons, yes. pale. Still fixers. Na kila mtu, eh? Yeah. Na still fixers, eh? Yes. Ama umesema? Yes, still fixers. Eh, wako pale? Kabisa. So, na kuuliza... Um, uh, Meshak yes, sir. Kwa sababu program hii ya affordable housing pia inakupatia nafasi ya ajira lakini bile bile unajua pale tunajenga social houses mm -hmm. Sijui kama umepata kuelezwa hiyo social houses na vile unaweza wewe kama plumber uka save pesa Iyo nyumba ikiwa tayari, wewe pia unaweza kununua. Ukona iyo abari? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you doing something about it? Yes, we are planning and we have started doing it as the plumbers on site already. Yes. Yeah. So you are planning to, occup to uh, be part of the people who will occupy those houses? Those houses that are Just there. so that I explain to you that um, because housing for a very long time was about big people, people who can afford, people who have uh, big jobs, or, or so they think. But this time around, we said, in the building of houses, we want to make sure that we are sensitive to the strata of our society, that the people at the bottom, yes yule mtu wa kawaida pale chini ambaye hakuwa na matumaini hata siku moja kuweza kuwa home owner mwenye nyumba wengi wamezoea pengine uko unalipa rent kwa nyumba ya mabati vile eh, kakaya anasema pale choo ni shida maji ni shida barabara ni shida hata stima kuunganisha ni ile ya eh mm. unajua vile inafanyika hiyo maneno hiyo yeah. <laughs> So, na sasa zingine inatupatia matatizo, ina, inalete madhara. Lakini sasa tumeamua ya kwamba, pale kutapatikana na nyumba, unalipa, unalipa rent maali unaishi eh, mesha kama shilingabe? 
bado unaishi saa hii. Yes sir. Si Yes sir. Sasa kwa hii mpango itawezekana hiyo 3000 unalipa rent kwa nyumba ya mtu. Utalipa 3000 lakini itakuwa nyumba ambayo ni yako. That is the difference we are making. Yes sir. Tunaelewana? Unaelewa hivi? Yes. Na ndio mpango yetu ni kusema ukisikia waziri amesema kuna categories karibu tatu ya ujenzi wa mungu. kuna social houses ambaye mortgage yake itakuwa uh, 3200 uh, 3% mortgage yake ni 3% na tunatumia hii fund ku subsidize ndio mortgage yako ikuje 3% tutakuwa na mortgage ya 605 6% 6% kwa wale watu wa affordable housing na mortgage ya 9% kwa wale watu wa market rate. Saa hii mortgage katika taifa letu la Kenya iko 18 20%. 20%. Lakini through this program kupitia kwa mpango huu ndio tutaweza to create more home owners by making it realistic and possible kwa watu kama wewe eh, Meshak kupata uwezo wa kulipa shilingi elfu tatu na ni kwa sababu tumeondoa mambo mengi kwa program ya affordable housing. Tumeleta ardhi kama serikali. Tumeleta services kama serikali. Tumeleta um, uh, design kama serikali. Ile uh, pesa nyingi ilikuwa inatumika kulipa ardhi, kulipa services, sasa tumeichukua kama serikali ndio tuweze kufikisha home ownership kwa wakenya wengi zaidi kama vile Mesha na wale wote wameketi hapa na vile vile watu wengi wanatuambia pengine tunachukua pesa alafu tunasaidia watu category moja the good news is this 20% of the housing units will be social houses 50% will be affordable houses that means the people who are in the who earn 20,000 and above mm. they will have an, a 50% chance to own houses in our affordable housing uh, program and 30% will be the people in the middle class or the people uh, further up the ladder so in this affordable housing program there is a chance for every kenyan those who want bigger houses will have an opportunity to get it those who want affordable houses will have an opportunity to get it and those who want social houses will have an opportunity to get it many people have been asking us what happened to your mama mboga what happened to your border border i want to tell them our border border and our mama mboga are family in our equation this program will make it possible for a mama mboga who today pays rent at 3000 to pay 3000 and own a home in Kenya it will give a chance to a border border guy and every hustler in Kenya who today lives in a shack that has no water that has no electricity that has no access that has no uh, sanitation it's going to dignify their lives and they too like the rest of society can own a home and that is why i'm very happy meshak is part of our plan as a simple plumber that he also is looking forward to owning a home in a decent place uh, like all other kenyans so meshak mimi naamini ya kwamba utajipanga na hiyo maneno tuko sawa kabisa eh tuko imara usi ni let down please hatuwezi eh hatuwezi eh usi pesa usichukue wote una save mm. kila siku kwa hiyo elfu moja unalipwa nafikiri elfu moja na kitu <laughs> hapo kwa hiyo elfu moja unalipwa chukua mia moja weka kwa boma yangu ndio pale mbele nitakusote asante sawa asante <laughs> thank, thank you thank you thank you very much your excellency um the holy scriptures your excellency says that um when i was hungry and i came to you you did not give me something to eat and the person in the parable asked but lord i didn't see you 
Obed Matongo is a construction worker at our Mukuru site. He does work at the scaffolding. Obed, yes. Obed, anajua kulala njani nini, your excellency? 